What is going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial slash Photoshop tutorial ish. Um, so I know that you guys really like these Final Cut Pro 10 videos or tutorials so I just keep putting them out and if you guys want to see more please leave them in the comment section below or any video ideas that you guys want me to cover I will try my best to get to them and uh, yeah so what I'm going to be teaching you guys in this tutorial is how to do a lower third or how to kind of keyframe or animate an object or whatever it is on your video so I'll show you guys what I mean so if I push play you will see that the you know the object or the lower third I guess in this case is gonna come out of the frame into the video so if I push play via Spotify iTunes and other with sound effects and it's really really easy and simple to do so first of all you want to go on to Photoshop or whatever photo editing application you use just make sure that the background is as a PNG or you save it as a PNG so the background is transparent and the only thing that you should be able to see is the object or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a lower third. It could be whatever you want. Like I said, it can be a subscribe button. It can be a thumbs up button. It can be pictures. It can be whatever, like I said. So just make sure that the background is a PNG. And you will notice if you're in Photoshop or if you're using Photoshop that the background has kind of like a checkerboard effect or a background, I guess. So you go to file at the top and then you go to save for web. Don't go to save as because that just kind of saves it as a document. Make sure the transparency is checked as well and that the preset is on PNG either 24 or uh, 8. Now if you select it as a JPEG, the background will change it to white and it's not going to be transparent. So make sure you go with PNG, click save and then just save it to wherever you want. Uh, I just saved it to my desktop I think. And then we're going to go ahead and head on to Final Cut Pro 10. And we just right click in the project area and go to import media or command I for the shortcut and then go to wherever you have it saved. Uh, I think it's this one right here. It's lower third slash P uh, PSD PNG. So just click import selected and then you're going to have this right here. I also exper experimented one with the YouTube, but I created this one myself. And if you guys want a tutorial on this, be sure to leave a like. That'll be awesome. But uh, what we did, it's very simple. So. We just have this kind of animate inside and then it leaves. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and delete this so you guys uh, know what I'm doing from the start. So it doesn't matter where you select it because it's a still image. So drag that on top of your footage and you might want to crop it out. So or just trim this to however long you want this to animate. Of course, the longer you have it, the longer it will stay on the screen. So from here, what you want to go ahead and do is just select the lower third or the object or the picture or whatever it is. Go on to the uh, tools panel right here and you're going to have effects. So go on to the transitions and go to movements, okay? And go down and select slide. Now, that's, this is my favorite one. You guys can do any, any other uh, transitions that you want. But uh, I like to go with slide just because it's kind of smooth and it just looks good with this. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this on top of this clip. And you will now be able to, let me go ahead and render this out first so you guys can really see what I mean. So these right here on the beginning and towards the end will allow you to change the duration of the transition and how long it takes for it to show on the screen. So the longer the, you know, the this part here is, the longer it will kind of fade into the video and the longer it will take to fade out. So you could always change that. So if I push play right here via Spotify, iTunes, and, other and you can see that too. Now, you're gonna have this really weird thing coming out, but we're gonna go ahead and fix that. It's really simple. So select the transition here and go onto the inspector window. It should look like this or press command four for the shortcut. And then go to where it says slide and then on next to type, make sure that's on slide in, okay? Uh, assuming you have the first transition selected. And then the direction, we want this to slide in towards the right, okay? You don't have to use the keyframes um, in this example, I guess. You could if you want, but this way is a little bit more easy and simple. It makes it look more smooth. So we're going to go ahead and change that to right, okay? So it's going to move towards the right, as you can see right here. And then a couple of seconds, you want a little bit of gap, okay? So it stays on the screen. And then after, it's going to go ahead and fade out. So we're going to go ahead and select this transition. And we're going to go ahead and change the type. We're going to do slide out. This way, it won't, you know, the video itself below it won't move along with that. So, personally, I don't, let me go ahead and change this. I want it to move back towards the left. So, we're going to go ahead and do, uh, we're going to keep that to slide out. But we're going to change the direction. We're going to go left this time. So, it will come in 
into the video and then there's going to be a small little gap here depending how long the transition you want it to be and then it's going to go ahead and fade out towards the left right here and you can see that this will tell you where it's going to go uh, so it's going to fade out just like that and then for the audio what I did is I just went on YouTube I looked up uh, swish sound effects or swoosh or cutscene sound effects and I just imported that into Final Cut Pro 10 and I just kind of uh, cut down the parts uh, wherever I want it to, you know, the parts that I want to use. And I will leave that video in the description. Uh, I will leave, you know, the credit for whoever created it, of course. But you want to go ahead and just sample a part of the, the audio. Just use it, kind of sync it up together so it kind of makes sense, okay? So, undo that. So let me go ahead and see how this looks via Spotify, iTunes, and other... Yeah, that's pretty good. I didn't even have to really customize it that much. But again, if you want to change this, just click this little, uh, this towards the right, and this will allow you to change the transition. Um, so I think the shortest is 0.3 frames. I'm not sure if that's right or not. Correct me if I'm wrong, but let me go ahead and render this out really quickly so it's not, you know, laggy or anything. So if I push play via Spotify, it's I really, really fast as you can see. So I like it to be a little longer because it adds that nice smooth transition into the video so I mean that's pretty much it again you guys can customize and do a whole bunch of stuff but this is just very basic and yeah like I said it doesn't have to be a lower third it can be a picture a thumbs up if you guys want a keyframing tutorial and you know add more complicated things be sure to comment down below or just leave a like to show me that you guys want a tutorial on that or any video ideas subscribe if you haven't and um I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.